everybody, Liz Donnelly here, the family fitness guru. I'm with the one and only Holly Rigsby from Fit Yummy Mummy. And uh, she herself is a mom, and she has some fantastic ideas about trying to implement whole produce, you know, good fresh vegetables and fruits into your family's diet. And maybe, you know, a couple of good strategies for people who are struggling with kids who are little and picky and kids who are big and picky. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Well, yes, this absolutely is a, a change. It, it's something that you have to expect when you make this transition um, with your family's eating habits. Because, yes, you are concerned and you understand what you got to do to eat right in order to reshape your body and get healthy. And if you if have eating habits that were not so supportive in the past, of course, you're going to uh, be met with some resistance when you start adding in these new changes. Um, so it's the very, the best, the very first step that you should take is to sit your, your children down and explain to them what you are doing and why. And tell them how important it is for mommy to be able to start eating these foods and why. And then explaining to your children why it's important for them to eat healthy foods. And show them the examples and the reality of the fact that children are struggling with obesity today. And I'm sure that they can name children that they go to school with that struggle with health issues and weight issues. And that by telling them by, you know, by eating fresh fruits and vegetables and lean proteins and healthy fats, you know, mommy's here to help keep you healthy and so that way you don't have to go down that path. So education is the very first step and you would be surprised because a lot of parents are hesitant. Maybe first of all because they don't have all the information before them to be able to explain it to their children. But really if you just kind of talk it down and, and use the, the, the kid talk, it really does help. And kids are so open. They, they just, they want, they're sponges. They want you to explain why. They don't want to hear because I said so. They are they are so curious. So when you give them that information, they're going to see how important it is to you, and they're going to absorb that even more.